Hello, everybody. This is Marie Mbuni, doctor and shamana, and your guide in this new moon ceremony of 999 portal. This is, um, this is a beautiful, energetic portal, and I wanted to make sure that we all come together to start creating from a place of fullness. And the flow of the ceremony will be um we will start by doing a cosmic check-in at first i wanted us to say hello however um by giving people a chance to join it's almost 10 10 and i respect your time so i want to make sure that we get done you know when i said we would uh, however at the end of the ceremony we can all you know say hi where are we from uh and and connect that way i would love this to become a monthly thing and and where we really create a tribe of new moon manifestors so um the flow is we're going to start with a cosmic check-in i'm gonna give you a statement maybe i and then you complete the statement on your journal so that it's your own personal experience and then after that i'm gonna do a transmission of what wants to come in for all of us as a message and then the third part of the ceremony will be where we we go into deep visioning as i guide you in a meditation you you envision what you desire, but from a place of grace, not fear or lack where, oh, I don't have water, so I have to, you know, it's a place of, I have as much water as I desire. I just need to release anything that is not showing me water right now, right? So, as we do that visioning process, we will be sipping cacao as a way to really encourage ourselves, as a way of acknowledging that we have the magic, we have the power, we deserve to have anything that we want, if we so choose. And then, at the end of the ceremony, uh, I will tell you about um, a couple of things that I have coming up, and then we will say hi to each other, okay? So, really gathering yourself back here. And if you could grab your journals, we're gonna start a cosmic check-in, so starting to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth in through your nose and out through your mouth i'm calling in golden energy emanating from the sky golden energy healing energy harmonizing energy coming down from the sky in a beautiful wide column coming down to your higher chakras coming down to your crown your brain really soothing letting you release all the to-do lists everything that is on your mind just melting away in this beautiful golden energy vibration of love. Going down the back of your neck, your shoulders starting to be relaxed. Going down the front, your face, your eyes, just feel your eyes sinking in their sockets, just relaxing going down, feeling all your sinuses being filled with this golden light energy of unconditional divine love. 
going down, down your jaw, feeling your jaw relax, your tongue relaxing in your mouth, energy going down your neck and really soothing your throat chakra. Feel your neck relax. Maybe, maybe circle your head a little bit, really allowing yourself to relax, feeling this golden energy pouring down your back and your front, your heart chakra, your solar plexus, your navel chakra, just feeling yourself relaxing, receiving this divine love energy that is yours to have. Breathing in as you absorb this relaxation, this love going down your sacral chakra to your root, down your legs, all the way down, 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 down to the core of the earth. Feeling yourself anchored, feeling yourself supported by the earth. Just absorb this. As you continue to relax, make sure you have your journal with you. And I'm going to ask you to really do a deep cosmic check in. So, for every brief I statement, just complete the statement, and this will activate all the areas of your life for this creative cycle, for this creative cycle in this new moon. Because we wanna make sure that we activate our manifestation, our lives from all different areas. So when I say I heal, complete the statement. And for me, I am saying, I heal my relationship to time. I always feel like I do not have enough time and I am ready to heal that because I have all the time I need. And the second statement, I balance. What do you balance in your life? Make it as an I balance dot 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 statement. Staying relaxed. In the third statement, I transform. What are you ready to transform right now? Mm, that's a juicy one. I transform. Next. I understand, I understand. Hmm. For me, I understand that self-love is my superpower. What do you understand? Next, I produce. I produce. And let's do this um, from a place of knowingness. So try not to use your brain and think about it. Just let whatever first word comes out, just write it. Because you, it's, it's your higher self giving you information. This is not about the brain. This is about the heart. This is about energy. Next statement. I know. I know. I know that I'm pure love. I know that I deserve to realize my dreams. I know that I am healed. Whatever it is for you. The next statement is, I trust, I trust, I trust. 
What do you trust? Just let it come. Next statement, I am. I am. Mm. It could be as simple as I am that I am. Meaning you're calling in all the vibration of the multidimensional being that you are. And it can only fit in the I am that I am statement. So I am, and write it down. I manifest. What are you ready to manifest in this next cycle of the moon? And it doesn't have to be five things. It could just be, for me, I manifest time. Next one. I communicate. Let it come. I communicate. The next one, I feel. I feel joyful right now that I get to spend all this time with you. So stay relaxed. How do you feel? What do you feel? Or maybe what are you ready to feel? It could be that. And the last one, I love. I love. Really connecting to those statements. Hmm. I'm giving you a few more seconds. Maybe you got inspired, um, you know, by the end. So if there's anything you want to add to one of the statements, go ahead before we get into the uh, downloads and meditation. One more second. As people finish, I just want to share with you, this is, as I was meditating about our new moon ceremony today, I, uh, I was guided to go and get some flowers for our altar. And um, hmm, I was already starting the download process of the message that wants to come through. And and I, there was a big area where they sell flowers. And I asked which ones wanted to come for us, which color. And this is the color that came, yellow. And yellow, yellow is joy. And so I put them in this wonderful vase that is so beautiful and shimmery and so these are the flowers on our altar. I just wanted you to know that we have a special altar that I created for this new moon. And uh, of course, always crystals. And, uh, but I wanted to share those with you. So now that you've had those words that have come from your higher self, bring your cacao and this is mine. And just take a little sip. Mm. 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 And everybody do not, you know, you don't need to have cacao. It could be tea. It could be some people are allergic to um well, actually, it's not an allergy to cacao. It's usually allergies to the milk products that are put into chocolate that is sold. But this is different. However, you could have water. It's okay. Whatever you have, let's take a sip. And um, I'm going to call the directions and transmit what wants to come through as you listen. Calling in the east, 
energies of air, calling in eagle, condor, calling in illumination, clarity, discernment, calling in Archangel Raphael of the East to be with us in our medicine space, going to the South, energies of fire, transmutation, transformation, calling in dear spirit, mm, teach us how to see with the eyes of our hearts, Calling in Archangel Michael of the South to come and be with us and put a beautiful blue cloak on each and every one of us. Blue cloak of protection as we go within ourselves to receive deep wisdom. I call the West energies of water emotions, energy in motion. I call in Black Panther, Black Jaguar to come and help us track and integrate our shadow. Archangel Gabriel of the West, I call on you to be with us in our medicine space. Going to the North, energies of Earth, I call on the ancestors of this land and the ancestors of the lands where each and every one of you is located right now to grant us safe passage. As we go and reclaim our soul power from our lineage. Lineage doesn't mean your father and your mother. It means your spiritual lineage, your blood lineage, your energetic I call on poets, visionaries, seers, wordsmiths, healers, light leaders. I call on the lineage of each and every one here. I call on Sister Owl Spirit to bring us wisdom. I call on the spirit of lion and lioness to bring in the king and the queen in each and every one of us. I call in Archangel Uriel of the North to be with us in our medicine space as we move to the direction of below. Pachamama, our beautiful blue planet. I call on the goddess to be with us in our medicine space. I call on Archangel Jophiel and Fabiel of creativity to be with us today, tonight. As we move to the direction of above, I call on our guides, guardians, allies, benevolent like beings. I call on the spirit of Mother Cacao. Hmm, Cacao, there is a legend. When humanity is ready, Cacao will wake up from the jungles and come and heal our hearts so that we can step into divine unconditional love for ourselves first and then for humanity. I call on dolphin, whale, our star brothers and sisters. I call on the crystal kingdom, Archangel Metatron. Oh. 
as I tone, allow the vibration from my voice to come and shower you with energies of healing, of joy, of harmony and love. This toning is balancing your chakras. Angels called are here supporting you as you feel all the cords of these karmic behaviors, relations starting to shake loose, allowing you to step into your freedom. Number 999 portal is also about the end of patriarchy. The old ways of doing things is about to be dissolved where we had to fight, to push against, to sacrifice. That time is over. This is the time right now to step into flow, into your divine union of healing the masculine in you and the feminine in you. going to be silent for a few seconds as you allow these energies to move up and down your body. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Thank you. 
through your nose and exhale through your mouth. And we are going to go to the next step, which is to start creating our manifesting list, but from a place of fullness. So take another sip of your cacao, really allowing the energies of Mother Cacao, the smells, the scents, the texture, the taste, everything, calling in all your senses. And now I have the next question as we start our manifesting list. You can write it down. I want you to ask yourself, what am I absolutely good at? What am I an authority at? And start writing, just let things come. What am I good at? What am I good at? I'm good at silence. I'm good at smiling. I'm good at listening. I really know that I am good at listening. I'm good at creating beautiful altars. What am I an absolute authority at? I'm good at meditation. I'm good at connecting to the divine. I'm good at moving my body in a joyful way. So let things come right, 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 right. Don't think about it, keep writing. What am I good at? You have to have at least five things. Keep writing. What am I in authority at? This is going to help you start knowing that you are good at something and that you, there are things in your life that it could be, I'm good at making French toast or I'm good at, um, Creating parties that everybody loves. I'm good at um, making my friends laugh. Like find something. Because what this does energetically, it helps you start to step into your greatness where you feel good about yourself. A few more seconds. What am I good at? What am I good at? What am I a master at? I know that I am a master mirror. Like I, I help people see their own wings. Like I am here to empower people. When somebody is in my energy, they feel good about themselves. That's something I'm good at. And I cultivate that. When I wake up in the morning, I always make sure my energy field is filled with love so that whomsoever comes in contact with me always leaves feeling a little better about themselves or feeling love from me, always. So when you start really putting down the things you're good at, what happens is, you know, emotionally you start to release 
uh, doubt and fear and and you start to go into a place where it's like wow i'm i'm great at whatever and then you know that that's your superpower you don't have to be great at what somebody else is great at because that's their gift yeah okay next take a deep breath let that one go Hmm. And your next statement is, I surrender to the power of the magic of the universe. You have to kind of surrender to allowing yourself to be supported by the universe. Because when we push, it's like we're pushing against something. It's like we're fighting. So it's really difficult to manifest from that space. So I surrender. I surrender to the power of magic. I surrender to divine love. I surrender to my greatness. I surrender to dot, dot, dot. Think about the spaces where you might feel in lack in your life and, and, and surrender to releasing that. It could be how you surrender. Are you writing it down or are you just looking at me? Okay, good. So now that you've written that you surrender, I would like us to take a moment. I'm going to play the ball for 30 seconds. And when we do that, I would like us to move into a place where we feel like we have already achieved anything we desire. And from that energy, we're going to write our goals for this cycle. Okay? Okay. So take a deep inhale. Sip your cacao. Mm. Mm. Really staying in the energy. Calling in beautiful emerald energies. These energies are the energies of abundance, energies of healing, energies of flow and mastery. Beautiful emerald green column emanating from the sky and coming down and whoosh. Just pouring down on all of us as we start allowing ourselves to step into the vibration of abundance, of flow. In this energy, anything that we desire has already happened. It's done. Because you deserve it and you are worth it. It's your birthright. Feel the energies of joy and success permeate your whole energy field. You have already done it all. It's already done. It's yours. You don't have to know how it happened. All you need to know is everything you've been thinking about has already happened. It's done. And from this place, if you were in this space where you are full, you don't want anything, you have achieved everything that you want. What 
would you want to accomplish next? What would you want to be? How would you want to show up? I invite you to write your intentions from this space of fullness, of knowingness. What are your intentions? What are your goals? You don't have to have a lot of them. It could just be, I want to show up with trust every day until the new next new moon. It could be that. And that is super powerful. Allow your goals to come from a space of fullness, not fear. What would you want to accomplish in your relationships? What is your goal there? Maybe committing to connecting with your friends, loved ones, communicating from an empowered space. If you have a job, what is your goal in your job? Maybe showing up with so much gratitude because you actually do have a job. If you have children, what is your goal as a parent? Maybe listening, maybe showing up in your power. Whatever it is for you. What is your goal with your own self-love? This is a big one. What are you committing to when it comes to yourself? Maybe I would suggest commit to receiving unconditional receiving I call it just let it come how it wants to come sometimes we miss things that are sent to us by the divine the universe or source because we want what we want to look how we want it to look Unconditional receiving, maybe from your friends or yourself. What are you committing to? What is your goal when it comes to service? How do you want to serve? Maybe committing to putting a dollar in your car so when you see a panhandler on the road, know you give it to him her or just smiling giving a smile to everyone you meet they might think you're a little crazy but that's okay it will make them smile too that's an act of service it doesn't have to be you know building houses in you know some place What is your goal when it comes to your body? How do you want to nourish yourself? How do you want to celebrate yourself? I'm talking about nourishment. I am not talking about going from a place of um, really self-hate. How are you ready to nourish yourself? Maybe drinking water. It could be an act of pure devotion to yourself 
every morning when I wake up, I'll drink a glass of water. It could be as simple as that. That will start signaling yourself that you're ready to really step into self-love. What are your goals when it comes to your finances? What is your relationship to your finances? I used to be afraid of my finances because I had no clue of what to do. So what are your relationships when it comes to finances? What is your goal? Maybe just opening your mail or looking at your bank statement. Or maybe it could be deciding that you will um, create more financial abundance. Just let it come. Or maybe uh, a goal could be I will release fear about my finances. So keep writing down. I'm giving you these ideas because sometimes when we have a desire, that desire can take our whole imagination, our whole life. I want money, I want money, I want money. And we forget all the other parts of our lives, right? So what are your goals when it comes to expressing your creativity, your divine nature? Maybe cook beautiful meals or going outside and honoring the sun or a tree. Like how are you ready to express? Beautiful. So take a moment to take a deep breath and sip your cacao. These are your goals until the next new moon. In this way, if you remember, we did a cosmic check-in to activate all areas of our lives. And with these goals, we creating goals in all areas of our lives. So we start living a holistic lifestyle where it's not just one area, but in fullness. Take another deep inhale as I tone and activate these goals. go your homework is going to be a gratitude list so when we come next time i would love everybody to have a gratitude list where you have been grateful for something uh, during this cycle beautiful work everybody 
And um, I just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge each and every one of you, the people present live, and each and every one who will watch this, the replay anytime in the future, because everything is happening in the moment of now. Hmm. Namaste, everyone. I'm going to stop the recording and then invite everyone to share if they want um, 